Grace and peace to you in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus the Christ. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And welcome back to our midweek review, our, our midweek pickup, a time where we get to dive in to God's Word a little deeper than what we do on Sunday. And so today we concluded our sermon series called Our House. And so today we are looking at our final reading from that series, which comes from the book of Acts. So for me, I kind of lifted this up in my message on Sunday, but for me, growing up, the churches that I attended, the book of Acts was always seen as this blueprint for how the church should be. Essentially, the, the book of Acts is the, the five W's, the who, what, where, when, and why of the early church. And the idea was, the way that I grew up reading the book of Acts, was that that's the picture-perfect image of what we want to get back to. That's the church we need to be today. And if we can be that church today, then things will be so much easier. Well, our reading for this week comes from Acts chapter 6, verses 1 through 7. And within this reading, we see there's some issues with language barriers, there's some cultural issues that the church is facing, and ultimately what we see is a church that is faced with problems, faced with difficulties, just like we are today. So instead of reading the book of Acts as this blueprint or layout for how church should be, maybe instead we can read the book of Acts with an understanding of seeing that the early church faced problems just as we do today, but regardless of those problems, our God is already working towards a solution. What I think is very interesting, and the thing I'd like to lift up for today in particular, is the understanding, I think for most of us, the book of Acts, you know, there's the title, uh, Acts of the Apostles. That's kind of the modern day title for this book. And, and while we see throughout the book of Acts uh, several apostles, the actual, the unifying theme or person throughout the entire book is not the apostles, but it's Jesus. Jesus is the one who weaves the thread throughout the entire story and connects everything. So when we talk about church, when we talk about ministry, when we talk about serving, what and who we need to remember is first Jesus. Because Jesus brings us all together. Jesus centers our lives and our hearts and allows us to focus on what's most important. And that's people. So whether you're serving in a ministry role or you're serving on Sunday mornings, let's first remember Jesus. Let's serve with a, with a gracious heart and a gracious spirit. And let's remember who it's all about. For Christ has set us free. Let us serve with a servant's heart and let us lead with passion and grace. Let's never forget what and who it's all about. So as we conclude this week, uh, our next sermon series won't start for another week. So these midweek reviews will just be during our sermon series. And also at the end of every series, we have a series recap that we want to share with you. It's down in the description. You can click that link and it goes through each and every week's reading, the main theme, and also just a food for thought question for you. So I hope you'll check it out and I hope you all have a wonderful week.